What about not telling um, a friend or someone that's very close to you the truth because you know that if you did, then you would basically cut all ties with that person, maybe the family member or whatnot. So is it best to just keep the relationship or is it best to tell them the truth knowing that it will destroy that relationship or even relationships? Yeah, that to me is one of the greatest challenges that maybe, yeah, definitely one of, if not the top greatest challenge that I have personally, constantly, is how authentic can I be while still being compassionate? And compassion does not necessarily mean avoiding hard truths either, or you know, avoiding pain when you, you make that calculation in your head. How much is this going to help them? How much is it going to hurt them? Um, I mean, my, my belief, I lean toward authenticity as far as there, you know, when I talk about relationships, um, I wrote a lot more than I actually spoke up here. Um, but one of the things that I, I think about is authenticity and how, you know, if you, let's say you have a, a lover and you are, you know, they ask you something like, hey, were you checking out that other person? Or, you know, I mean, this is a really sort of simple, shallow um, example, but I think it'll work. Um, hey, were you checking out that waitress's ass as he was walking away? It looks like he were. And then, so then one choice is uh, no, you know, a lie, basically. No, I wasn't. Um, I have eyes only for you, or, or just no, I wasn't. And to me, this impacts the relationship because I think we're constantly walking around calibrating. <coughs> and by calibrating, I mean we're like, we're at least subconsciously, a lot okay so when a person says something to us we are looking at their face we're looking at their body language we're remembering everything they've ever said to us on some level and we're correlating that we're putting that together and then we're looking at their expression in their face and their eyes and all that along with those words and and when so when they lie to us they are decreasing the knowing that they have that we have of them of each other and to me, in any kind of relationship, whether it's with a client, a lover, a friend, a child, whatever, um, the more we know each other, the more we're accurate with our um, interpretation of their body language, uh, then the more that we can serve each other, the more that we can be happy together. Uh, but when you tell a lie, you're, you're um, sabotaging that process, and you're confusing their brain, and... The, it's it's ultimately reducing the power of the relationship. Uh, does that answer your question? <laughs> Thanks for that question. Because uh, yeah, I was just going to say you could argue that you, you can't have a relationship with somebody who's lying to you because then you have you're having a relationship with what you think they are, mm. but they're lying to you, so <laughs> you you don't know what they actually are. Oh yeah, speaking of masks, yeah, I mean, that's thickening the mask. Yeah. <laughs>